Hey, it's so nice to meet you. I'm Asase Obo. I'm a PGY1 um, in internal medicine and originally from California. Um, but it's so great to meet you. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Thanks for having me. I'm David Yurick. I'm an MS3 at Duke University. Uh, originally, I grew up in Phoenix, actually. The, your school has you do rotations, you said that's in the second year? Yeah. Yeah, so like, what are you what are you doing now? Are you like in clerkships right now? Third year is dedicated entirely to research. So I'm looking at computational fluid dynamic models for aortic dissection. So we're essentially taking CT scans of people who had dissections and making um, computational models of them and trying to figure out which hemodynamic principles might be able to predict need for intervention or complications and stuff like that. Duke is, I think, probably unique in that they do they do one year preclinical classes and then we complete all of our rotations second year. That's amazing that you've already finished your clerkships and it's only halfway through third year. Probably one of the downsides of the curriculum is that you have a lot of tests all in a row. Every day I would look at the AMBOSS knowledge app. Um, I probably use that as much as I use up to date. AMBOSS is pretty unique in that it's one of the resources that kind of spans all, all of the years of medicine. You know, you have your preclinical stuff, but it's also the same articles have a lot of information that you can use in the hospital. It's great to see that, you know, AMBOSS can kind of transcend like all of the years in med school. Like you can use it for first year to kind of review material. Then you can go into second year and use it to get through step one and then use it again for your clerkships. It's like the gift that keeps on giving because even now I'm an intern and when I don't know something or can't quite remember, like I feel like half of med school is a blur. But like if I can't remember yeah. this first step treatment or like supportive things that I need to keep in mind or like complications that I should keep in mind, like I can easily just go and go into the knowledge bank and like search it and read up on it in like two seconds and then know what my next step is going to be in my plan. So what would you feel were some of the features uh, of the platform that really stood out to you? I think that the ability to kind of go through the library and pick out questions on specific topics was really useful. Mm -hmm. I remember like I had a terrible time learning nephrotic syndrome, so I just went to that page, read it, and then did all the questions one day. And Bus also made an, uh, an add-on for Honky at some point, and that yeah. came in handy a lot. Um, I probably use that more times than I can count. You know, if I have a question, usually Amboss is the first place I go and almost always they have the answer for me. I was a freelance photographer for several years um, and even throughout med school. Um, and so I love to get to know more about people, you know, through the photos that they take and, uh, you know, the photos that I think are the most important to them. So I want to put up this photo that you shared with us. Um, can you kind of tell us about this photo and why this photo is important to you? One of the places I like to go is Duke Gardens, which is you know, right outside the hospital. So I can go there for lunch or if I have more time, I can go there and you know, run around or just take a walk. And it's a really quiet, peaceful place to relax um, after a test or when you're on rotations. I feel like this picture exudes peace. And I think especially in medicine, I think that's something that a lot of, you know, uh, physicians, nurses, PAs, what have you, seek. Because, you know, a lot of medicine, you're caring for people that are really sick and really vulnerable moments of their lives and their families and having to deal with all of those emotions while trying to take care of the, the patient is, is difficult. So I'm so glad that you have that place to go to. What is your why medicine and how do you, and, and what is, what's your anchoring point that kind of keeps you going? The experience is very fulfilling and meaningful and you can impact a lot of people's lives. And I think a lot of professions offer that opportunity, but I think it's most evident when you're in medicine. I, I don't think any other career makes it like that. You, you're not on the forefront like you are in medicine. So I think that experience of, you know, directly speaking with patients and impacting their lives. Medicine can be very stimulating just on like an intellectual level, but also the fact that we are honored to, to, to hold space and to be with you know, patients when they're, when they're, you know, at their lowest, at such a low point in their lives, I think is, is, is such a privilege. But thank you so much for sharing that with us.